Hi, my name is Frank Hamilton, and you're listening to Good Music on Driftwood. And soon you'll be words and nothing more. A song that I heard but never bought. And under London skies we'll find our way. Uh, thanks for uh, taking the time to do this, I appreciate it. Not at all, man. Thanks and, for having uh, me. Where are you right now? Where where are we? We're in London, but I don't know whereabouts in London. Well, just, I guess, a little bit of history. Like, uh, how long have you been making music or writing music? Writing music maybe for like, uh, I don't know, maybe seven years, eight years, okay. maybe. Um, Blink-182 was the band that got me into it, really. Oh, wow. Um, just their songs are incredible. Yeah, a lot of people are surprised by that, but the songs... Um, I still stand by this. I think Mark Hoppus and Tom DeLonge are two of the best songwriters of my lifetime of that generation. I think they're incredible. I think most of my influences are lyric influences, really. Uh -huh. So it doesn't necessarily depict like the style of music or anything, but just the words and the content and trying to say something means something. You know what I mean? I was uh, in London last summer, actually. I have to say, I, I took a ride on the London Eye. That was pretty amazing. So that's my segue into the London Eye uh, EP. <laughs> Awesome, that's a smooth link, man, I like that. <laughs> it's just, I guess what you call a silly idea, right? Yeah. How did that come about? What was the uh, the genesis for that? I don't really know. It was just an idea I had. Um, like, following on from one song a week, obviously, I did last year, so I kind of wanted to leave the house and, and play these songs that I've been writing. Of course, getting someone to let me on there for, in the first place, and there's no plug sockets on there, so we had to, to power the whole thing ourselves. and. Um, so I can't believe it happened, like I can't believe they let us do it, I can't believe we pulled it off. Obviously my stuff's quite British and I couldn't think of a better place to, to play it than at the top of the London Eye overlooking Big Ben and Houses of Parliament. It was really special. It's, it's such a unique project, I mean, did you feel a lot of uh, pressure in the moment? You know, you, you gotta get it done in, in one day. <laughs> like once round, 28 minutes, um, we wanted to do four or five songs, that was our ballpark. Um, so obviously that's like four minutes set up time and yeah. then just go and hope that it works out. Um, yeah, it was really nerve-wracking, but it was awesome. Uh -huh. It was awesome. I really enjoyed it. Speaking of uh, one song a week, I mean, there's another, I guess, what you term the silly idea. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, man. The difference between one song a week and London Eye in terms of the silly ideas was that I didn't know if one song a week was a good idea until about week 30, week 40. It was like, oh, I could be doing myself over here. You know, writing a song a week for a year, I didn't really leave the four square foot of my living room where the studio is. The one song a week, I mean, talk about pressure, not just for 30 minutes, but for an entire year. Yeah, it was quite intense. There was definitely good weeks and bad weeks, obviously, as you'd expect, um, but there was a few times where I, I thought I shouldn't carry on. Like, week nine was a real no point. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of, I was very close to quitting in week nine and I didn't, thankfully. And there was a couple more that I was struggling for, but actually when I got into the rhythm, maybe like week 40 onwards, it kind of got quite easy because word started spreading and, and all these amazing people like Ed Sheeran and Newton Faulkner and, and Lauren Aquilina wanted to come and get involved. So, so it kind of made my life a bit easier. In today's kind of music world, there's so much out there and, and people have so much access to so many things. Do you feel kind of a, a pressure or some kind of need to, to try to do something different so that you stand out from, from your peers? Yeah, I think I think most artists probably feel that pressure, like whether or not they they take it on board in quite the way I have. Like it's always been something that I wanted to do, you know, I don't just want to be another singer songwriter that's come from YouTube, mm -hmm. um, done some covers and, and worked his way up that way. Like you know, that's cool, but it's been done and there's lots of people doing it and I guess with one song a week I wanted to try and do something that no one had ever done before. Um, and then the London Eye, I managed to do that again, so now the pressure's kind of on for the next silly idea. Right. Uh, but, but yeah, it's, it's cool, I'm really happy with how it's like shaped, shaped my artistic identity. That's uh -huh. not a bit of a banky way of putting it, do you know what I mean? Right, 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 yeah. Do you think uh, are there any plans in the future to, to get over here and maybe tour? Yeah, well, not not firm plans that you know, flights not booked, but mm -hmm. I'll definitely go to America at some point. Yeah, I'd love to. I yeah. keep getting to on Twitter to go to America, so I, I should make a point of going to America. Uh, well, hopefully uh, you'll make it over here sometime soon, and and make, can make it all the way over to LA. Uh, that'd be great. I'd love to go over to LA. I hear the sun shines in LA. Yeah, pretty much uh, about three hundred sixty days a year, I think. <laughs> so if you can handle that. 
I could handle anything more than more than five, mate. I think we've got those five that you're yeah. not having. We've got 300 days of rain, 360 days of rain. It looks pretty sunny right now, though. Is I'm that sad, uh, actually? I say yeah. that, but look, we've got sun out the window. Yeah. Uh, enjoy it while you can. That's it. And I'm stuck in here on Skype talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I don't want, you know, let's not uh, keep you inside too much longer then. <laughs> I, I do appreciate you taking the time to uh, to chat with me. Not and, at all, man. I appreciate you getting up at silly o'clock to call England and say hello. Looking forward to uh, the EP and uh, any future stuff and just kind of watching the career, you know, go. Awesome. Thank you, mate. Enjoy your day. Take all right, care. You too. Thanks, man. Bye.